think every pretty girl should have this. Every pretty guy should have this. Every they them should have this. And if you're watching this video, you're pretty and I'm telling you you are. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. And I'm being speaking facts right now. to my channel so wow this took me so long to finally record this because i was struggling y'all i was struggling i was struggling your girl was struggling to choose the fragrances to go in this like, as you read in the title i'm about to tell you my top 10 fragrances or just not even i don't even know about top 10 just 10 fragrances i think y'all should look into buying or bring out for going into spring and being in spring <laughs> all right so if you're interested in that keep on watching and we're just gonna jump right in because i'm gonna try to keep this under 20 minutes let's see if i can make it okay i have affordable and then i have designer i don't have any niche i don't have any niche fragrances at all way more hype i think i've only seen like two people talk about this fragrance and yeah the bottle sucks to spray out of but it's beautiful and the juice inside is where the money's at and that is kim kardashian's pure honey y'all this is beeswax honey heaven i definitely think scandal smells super honey but this is the next step of honey less complex uh, than scandal but super honey beeswax i want you to remember this is beeswaxy this is like the honeycomb like when you buy honey and you go to like the the like the outdoor markets and you buy the honey in the tin and it comes with the honeycomb and you can chew that like gum that is what this smells like it smells just like that i literally love this because i eat the honeycomb amazing there's other notes in here something bright right now in my nose from just spraying it but the five eight minutes that's all you're gonna smell the honeycomb and this lasts like six hours on my skin i think my skin really just likes honey though because i feel like most honey fragrances last pretty decent on my skin but this lasts uber long uber long i love this next is sophia by sophia vergara this is giving me sweeter coco mademoiselle let me tell you something sad. I knocked over my Coco Mademoiselle and broke the glass on the floor. Y'all, one of the saddest things, like a first world saddest thing that's ever happened to me. Because I've only used like this much of it because I want to use it in the spring and summer. My husband promised me he would get me another one and I'm going to hold him to it because I'm very sad. I'm very sad. I might even have to just get a smaller one because he got that for my birthday. That was the first fragrance he ever bought me and it actually makes me very sad to think about it. But um, this is Sweeter Coco Mademoiselle right here. Uh, I do think Coco, I mean Chanel, you really can't be on Chanel's level. But this is a second, a nice fragrance. I got this 3.4 for 20 Dolores and it lasts about five, six hours on my skin. If I layer this with Soap and Glory's um, Bergamot and Rose, <laughs> eight, nine, 10 hours. It's ridiculous how long it lasts on me when I do it like that. And it smells a little bit more like Coco Mademoiselle, but it's delicious. It's amazing. I think everyone, I think every one, if I think every pretty girl should have this. Every pretty guy should have this. Every they them should have this and if you're watching this video you're pretty and i'm telling you you are don't let anybody tell you anything different and i'm being speaking facts right now okay moving on from celebrity we're gonna move on to affordable the first one was moschino toy 2 y'all this is a recent purchase and can you guys see how much i've used of this already i love this this i wear this to bed I wear this to chill in my house. I wear this outside to leave my house. Um, it smells good. Right now, this is giving me about four to five hours outside. When I go to bed, I wake up and smell this. I actually only have one other fragrance that I go to bed and wake up and smell outside of this one. And they're both not expensive. The expensive fragrances I go to bed in, don't I don't wake up and smell them. 
but this is one of them that I do, which is super wild to me. I actually got this for more expensive than I needed to. I got it for $60, but on a fragrance night, I think I saw it for $45 or $50. Um, but this is a great. That was great. Uh, but yeah, the next one is Lanvin Eau Sensual. Um, Modern Princess Eau Sensual. A lot of people I think mentioned Modern Princess, and I like Modern Princess, and I will eventually get it. But I don't know what's the hate about Eau Sensual. This cost me like $18, $20. Oh, it's like citrusy. I don't know if there's mandarin or something in here. I love the smell of this. It's fresh, light, airy, and some sweetness to it. And it's like something else is in here too. It's very, very nice. And I think it lasts about four hours on my skin out in the cold. So I feel like it's going to last even longer in the warmer months. This just smells good. It smells good. It smells good. I'm not sure why this doesn't get the hype that it deserves my skin it's more like powdery sweet nice delicious this is just really nice um it almost gives me like i don't know it's it's, it's beautiful it depends on when i wear it and what my body chemistry is doing because sometimes i almost get like a powdered orange juice and fragrance which sounds so nasty but i promise you it smells so good and other times i got more perfumery perfumey peach white floral which also smells really good so yeah the next one oh no 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 you have to like powdery fragrances so this is rosha's byzance um this right here <laughs> y'all this is so affordable this is the 2019 version this is vanilla and powdery and sweet but don't think heavy it doesn't get heavy I don't think it ever gets it never gets heavy on my skin woody musky citrus fruity almond it's delicious the almond really doesn't come out too much on me but it's it's a powdery sweet vanilla for me that's what that is on here um and this lasts i think four or five hours on my skin i love it it's great and it's great it's i don't know i don't know why i don't hear people talking about this um you know what it is i feel like powdery fragrances are just not super popular and that's super sad because i think powdery fragrances are just kind of sexy um uh, i don't know i love it okay so fresh blossom this is a fresh clean pretty fragrance nothing i don't think is amazing about it i'm just being honest with you because it's nothing amazing nothing i don't think you've never heard smelled before in your life but for the price of it this you can spray and spray and spray and spray and spray i have to over over spray this but if i over spray over over spray it now in the getting into but still quite cold but getting into spring this lasts about four hours on me so i think it's gonna last about six hours um total when it's warmer and i keep spray over spraying this is fruity white floral rose fresh citrus green floral sweet aromatic and woody for me you don't always have to smell like just flowers i need something in flowers something in fresh like you know what i mean oh these are just oh, this is so nice um i love this and here i am i keep spraying stuff into the air because This is my um, affordable ones, so don't think you're going to get this with the next grouping. Although they were like wicked expensive, they still cost me more money than me, so I love y'all, but <laughs> gotta be careful. The last one in this pairing is Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana's. Everyone talks about it, but I have to talk about this because I think it's a masterpiece. Uh, for The price is ridiculous how amazing this is. This is a six-hour wear for me, which is crazy. This is Shine. Um, and this is white floral, fruity, sweet, tropical, ozonic, tuberose, citrus, salty, aldehydic, and musky. This is a mango floral. I don't get the mango super strong on my skin, although I'll smell it from the bottle. It's just, to me, I get a fruity, almost tropical, like, floral sweetness. Like, it's just, and the salt in here gives the sweetness a better vibe. It does some more. It does a little more. Huh! It's wonderful. I'm not going to look up these notes. I have four more to go and we're getting there. Um, this one is Jimmy Choo I Want You. Pretty girl fragrance. Yes. I love, first of all, it doesn't have a cap. It's a beautiful bottle. Spraying the bottle makes me feel pretty. 
I know I'm already pretty and so are you. I'm telling you like it is and that's fact and that's on period. But this smells so pretty girl fragrance this is giving me pretty girl fragrance this is giving me you can wear this literally anywhere slightly slightly sexy a little flirty a little mysterious a little not so mysterious but she's great she's she's a contradiction of greatness that's not the most i've never smelled this in my life but it's something that i think is, will be an easy grab for most people <laughs> the polar opposite not so easy grab jimmy choo i want choose on the sweet but not too sweet side then we have twilly de hermes this is a fresh spicy fragrance okay this is probably one of the most different fragrances i have in my stash right now and i wouldn't buy a ton more like this because it's a very fresh spicy fragrance i do as it dries on it gets a little sweet on my skin but when i wear this right now i like to mix it with vanilla 28 by kaoli just to give it a little sweetness super fresh and spicy though i would recommend everybody have a fragrance like this the reason why i'm showing you this one specifically if your body eats up fragrance like my body eats up fragrance this is a nine hour wear hold on but this right here it it this is something amazing if you don't like spicy fresh like you smell it and you're like oof get a smaller version of this see if you can get this decanted do you know someone who will decant and just hold on to it because you might surprise yourself four months ago i would have told you to please remove this from my face the next one is the seven virtues blackberry lily so nice i love this I just haven't worn it like that because I got it in the winter. I actually worn a decent amount, but I got it in the winter. And so this is for me like a spring summer scent. It's very floral, fruity, but everything is on the lighter side. So this is floral, fruity, but way light, like a light without being a soft fragrance. I truly, 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 truly like this. What I actually, the times I've sprayed this is when I go to write in my book. When I feel like I'm bogged down by stuff, I go ahead and I spray this. It gives me some type, I don't know, it's very nice. It's very, it's lovely. The next fragrance, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray this because I'm a beast, even though I really shouldn't because this is $45. This was <laughs> Angel Au Crocea. Crocea? Crocea? I don't know. Excuse me. It's an EDT. Lord, Lord, I had to pray on it real quick. This is such a sweet fragrance. I don't think you're going to be able to wear this in the heat of the summer, like the eat eat, because it's super sweet. But I think going into spring and being in spring, this is a great fragrance. It is edible. It's that gourmand without being too thick. That fig in here, the, um, chocolatey caramel it, it, it's like it's dessert it's just dessert it's it can work really nice i have not gotten a dirty patchouli or maybe i have and i just like it maybe that's just how i am i like a look dirty i like a look dirty maybe just a little bit but i love this there is vanilla in here but it's never a thick like it's never a thick goopy vanilla it's never a really creamy vanilla slightly electronic this is mostly a figgy like a thick this is a very fig sweet, fruity type of fragrance. I truly love this fragrance. This is such a great fragrance. Um, oh, it just lasts longer. This is this is great. Anyway, we're at 18 minutes. I made it. That was all of the fragrances. That was all of the fragrances that I'm going to show in this particular video today that I think are going to rock well for you going into spring and being in spring. All right. Let me know if you have any of these, if you liked any of these. Okay. Let me know if there's some that I didn't mention that you feel like are gonna be going great going into spring and in the spring months. Um, most of these I think are also gonna be great in the summer. And also wear whatever you want when you want to. It also determines how many, uh, depends on how many sprays you spray too. The less sprays, the less booming in your face and the less chance it has to give you a headache and all of that good stuff. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the whole video. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Please help your girl and give me a like and subscribe.
and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.